too. Can you remember where we're going? One day, my parents came and said, Nicole, guess what? Great news. That usually means a trip. Yes, I was right. Madagascar, cool. I'll be honest. The only Madagascar I remember is the one from the movie. You know, Alex, Marty, Melman. Anyways, but we're going to the real deal. I ran to the map and checked where it was. It turned out to be the fourth largest island in the world. Home to some of the coolest animals and habitats. The island was so big that we had to drive for long hours to get from one place to the other. But it was worth it. Many forests, canyons, I felt like a true explorer. Many of the animals in Madagascar are endemic, which is just a fancy word to say found nowhere else on Earth. Unfortunately, some of them have become extinct, like the dwarf hippos. I would have loved to see those. Thankfully, lemurs are still around and they're absolutely fascinating. So cute, they became one of my favorite animals. After long hours of walking through the forest, we were able to find them. Best way I can describe them is between a cat and a monkey. The first ones we spotted were a group of five ring-tailed lemurs. They reminded me of my sister, so active, jumping from one tree to the next. That night, we went on a night walk to see some nocturnal animals. We put on our headlamps and off we went. We found spiders, millipedes, snakes, a baby chameleon smaller than my pinky, and the famous mouse lemur. And this brings me to my cool animal facts. Cool. Lemurs come in all shapes and sizes. The mouse lemur is the smallest, being about two and a half inches. The size of a pea pod, plus its tail. And the biggest one is the injury. 25 to 28 inches, it's really bigger than I am. Injuries are also loud. We could hear them from miles away, so we followed the sound until we got to them. And because they're very curious, we got very close to them. Lemurs came originally from mainland Africa, and they hitched a ride to Madagascar and have lived there ever since. Lemur comes from the Latin word which means spirits of the night or ghosts. <laughs> Lemur societies are run by females. We can learn from them. Watch out bees, you're not the only ones. Lemurs are also important pollinators. One of my favorite lemurs was a shifaka. We went to a special place that works for them to try to increase their numbers in the wild. And one of them came up to me for a little piece of banana. This cool place also has a bunch of hungry chameleons. Wow, look at that tongue! Natural beauty is definitely not restricted to animals in Madagascar. The amazing baobabs are the national tree of Madagascar. Not only are they beautiful to look at, but the tree of life, as they call it, provides shelter, clothing, food, and water. They store up to 100,000 liters of water, enough to fill your backyard pool. Baobabs can survive more than 3,000 years in the wild. Check out some of these great, 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 Grandpas. Some locals say that God was so fed up by the baobabs whining and yelling about how they weren't beautiful, that he or she pulled them out of the ground, pulled them up, turned them over, and replanted them upside down. With their mouths now buried, baobabs couldn't complain anymore. While we were looking at the stunning baobabs, we stumbled upon this little fella. Although it looks like a hedgehog, it's actually a tenric. A lesser hedgehog tenric, that is. Endemic to southwestern Madagascar. Aww, this adorable little animal gets nine. No, 9.5 on my cutimeter. Tune in next week, we have a great show. We're heading on a trip to southern Africa. We're about to take off. Three countries, one amazing overland truck, new wild animal encounters, and a fair 
really large waterfall. Victoria Falls! Part one coming up next week. Don't miss it. Until next time. Lemurs are running out of time. They're simply losing all their habitat. So we should do everything to protect them. In the description below, I've left some links to organizations that study and protect lemurs.